Good morning. Today is Sunday, February 6th, 2022. Welcome to Column Henge at Alpha Omega. We're located halfway between Death Valley and Las Vegas. Halfway between Joshua Tree and Area 51 in the Mojave Desert of the Southwest United States. Good morning and welcome back. The ancient ritual you're about to experience <clears throat> comes from the earliest years of Christianity. In fact, it purports to be part of the secret teachings of Jesus to his disciples, which were, in a doc which were recovered in a document in Egypt in 1769 containing two last books of the Bible, the first and second books of Yahweh. I'm Reverend David Griffin. I'm Reverend Leslie McQuaid. And this is the Secret Teachings of Jesus Revival. The sun is the dispenser of light to the earth. May the living light of the God Force inflame our souls with abundant life. Our destiny lies amongst the stars, and to the stars humanity shall ascend. Take a nice deep breath and feel into your body. Breathe deeply. Feel each breath as it moves into you. Follow your breath as it spreads throughout your body. And as you are breathing deeply and feeling deeply into each and every part of yourself, visualize yourself as the tree of life however it is you imagine that tree to be, and grow your branches up high into alpha sky. Drive your roots down deep into omega earth. I call on you in the east, alpha I call on you in the West, Omega. I call on you in the North, Alpha. I call on you in the South, Omega. Alpha. Et Omega. The beginning. And the end. And the path of the age between. Sunrise. And sunset. And the path of the sun between. Birth. And death. And the path of life between. Alpha. Omega. E -O Welcome back to Alpha Omega Free Church and our Column Hinge Temple. This morning, once again, we're going to be opening the ninth treasure of life. <clears throat> we begin by reaching out to the angels in the invisible. Watchers, we know your name, so stand aside and grant us entry into the treasury. Diagon. Diagon. Let the watchers withdraw. And the living Jesus said, There are twelve heads in my Father's temple, in my Father's treasury. These are the names that are in the places when they sing praises to my Father, and He gives light power to them. Shining angel head in the treasury in the east. We call upon you using your secret name left to us by the living Jesus. Aozaia. Aozaia.
Ahoba inoza. Ahoba inoza. Oza owe. Oza. Eya a, eya a. Naraneza o, narane. Goza zai, goza zai. Tone zai, tone zai. Afa Oza Air. Afa Oza Is up sah on there. <clears throat> and so we completed our journey through the places. calling forth the twelve mighty angels, each in its proper place and proper rank. And at length we came into the place of the center, called place of the midst, the place of the father of the treasure of life. O Father, O Father of the ninth treasure of light, by your cipher and by your name, we invoke you. Ioe e the week. Ioe e the week. 
let the divine light descend. Oh, good morning, everyone. Heavenly Father, oh Lord God, help us to open our minds unto the higher dimensions. Open our minds unto the higher dimensions. Make our spirit, exalt our spirit. Exalt our spirit. And make my body a fountain of living light. Make my body a fountain of living light. O oh Lord God, grant us that at the end of this incarnation, those of us who wish shall ascend directly into the kingdom of light. And for those who remain behind, we ask that you help us to establish a pro-human future. Establish a pro-human future. Abolish slavery in all its forms. Abolish slavery in all its forms. Oh. And help us to create a pro-human future. Help us to create a pro-human future. Restore the purity of our air. Restore the purity of our air. Restore the purity of our water. Restore the purity of our water. Restore the purity of our food. Restore the purity of our food. And restore the purity of our medicines. Restore the purity of our medicines. Protect Homo sapiens from extinction. Protect Homo sapiens from extinction. Protect the integrity of our genetic code. Protect the integrity of Homo sapiens genetic code. All these things we ask in the name of the living Jesus. Amen. Amen. So mote it be. Take a moment now to again feel into your body. This ancient magical rite we are doing together helps you come into contact directly with God force energy. If you think you have never experienced this energy before, then I ask you to look back on the last time you sneezed. Did you sneeze any time within the last week? And when you sneezed, did you notice that everything in your world had to stop for that split second? That split second for your body to reject something. That's what a sneeze is really doing. A sneeze is when your body has a forceful reaction to something that must be rejected from your body. And interestingly enough, about half the world's people, when that happens, will get chill bumps. The same kind of chill bumps you get when you experience God force energy or when the Holy Spirit for comes men, over you. For men, this frequently comes when urinating. And it's natural that it comes at that time because this is that little reminder of, hi, your spirit is here, your spirit needs attention, and your body is the key. Your body is how you know what your spirit wants. That's why you have such an enormous subconscious brain. You most everything that humans do is below the level of consciousness. And why is that? Why is that? That's because consciousness is what we're developing here on earth. Consciousness is what needs to be built. And you can tell when someone is building their consciousness because they have something different about them. You notice something different about them straight away. You don't necessarily know what that something is, but there's something different. And what that something different is that they seem to have more life than everyone around them. And they do. They do have more life because they have more of what life actually is. That energetic impulse coming from God that in Jesus' time was called the Holy Spirit. And when it was discovered in China, they called it Qi. And when it was talked about in India, they talked about Prana. And when it was talked about in Hawaii, they talked about Mana. And when they started talking about it down in Louisiana, they started talking about Mojo. It's all the same juice, the spark, the zap. And you see, I'm using all electrical words because we are energy. We are pure electrical energy with a housing of flesh, just like an electric wire is pure copper with a housing of rubber. We are pure energy. 
And when we recognize the fact that we are pure energy, all of a sudden we have more of it. Isn't that astonishing? Well, in fact, it's quite magical. And that is the purpose of Jesus on this earth, to remind us of the magics of God. Now, other people talk about miracles or power, but just like prana, mojo, juju, and Holy Spirit and God force are all the same idea. So, same energy. Same energy. Same energy. So magic and miracles and mysticism is all talking about manipulating that energy. And that's what we're doing right here. I and David, we are standing here showing you how to take your physical body and go through this visualization with me. You'll like this one. Imagine, you know, you've all seen that picture of Jesus Christ, a beautiful picture, a very serene man. And he's pointing to his chest. And on the outside of his chest is a heart wrapped in thorns and on fire. And that is the heart of Jesus. Now, what must that heart feel like? To have your heart wrapped in barbed wire and lit on fire? That is passion. That's the passion of pain symbolized by the barbed wire. It's the symbol of passion by the fire. And the heart itself is a dual symbol of love and of life. It's life in the heart, the physical heart, but it is love that is contained within. And that, those four items together, show you that love is the powerful thing. Love is the soul inside. Our souls are pure love given to us by God. And when we reach into ourselves and we open that up and expose it to the world again, that is when the Holy Spirit comes rushing in like a great wind to fill our bellows such that we Ah, exhale this beauty and power into the earth as God intended. We are the repeater stations for God's energy. Unless we shine this energy out, it becomes lost on earth. That's why we see so much demonic energy, because more people know how to shine demonic energy than know how to shine God force energy. And why is that? That's because we all need to sit back and remember what we do. Remember why we're here. And the first step to everything that happens next is for you to turn your powerful mind towards the idea of the Holy Spirit. Think of the Holy Spirit. Think of Jesus, the heart on fire. And now take in that deep breath of God force. Thank you, Leslie, for that beautiful and powerful message. You know, the Holy Spirit is amazing. This God force energy, we like to call it that because when you think of Holy Spirit, it sounds like a ghost or a, a mental construct or something like that, but it's not. It's a living energy. It is living light. Folks, everyone knows today in Christianity that Jesus talked about eternal life. That is an essential aspect of his message. Death is a lie. All of us continue. But that doesn't mean that all of us continue in the same way. You can either return to a material existence or you can ascend directly into the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of light, at the end of this incarnation. Everyone has a choice, and the choice, when you die, will be up to you. Do you come back here yet again, or do you ascend into the kingdom of God? We are so happy to be here with you on this magnificent morning. You see, Jesus didn't just talk about eternal life. He spoke about something that was even more important, he spoke about it more frequently, in fact, and that is abundant life. What the heck is that? Unless you consider God force energy, unless you consider this Holy Spirit energy, abundant life makes no sense at all. But when you realize that he was back 2000 years ago, without the understanding of science that we have today, trying to explain these things, in a way that people of that period would understand it. He had to really, really reach for things and eventually to dumb down his message so that people could understand it. 
abundant life. That's what we're talking about every day out here with you. This is le our message, and this is what Leslie talks to you about day after day, after day, after day, again and again and again. Because the light is alive. The light, in fact, is life itself. Without sunlight, the earth will quickly die. All life on earth will perish right away. We need that light. We thrive on that light. We were given a spark of that light when we were born. It's called divine spirit. It's called our divine seed, our divine essence. And this spark of God that we were created in the image of God is within us. But some people just leave that seed there all their lives and never do anything with it. But if you're wise, you will plant that seed in the ground and you will water it every day. And that's what we're doing out here. We are watering the seeds of life. We are watering our bodies with God force energy. Remember the Samaritan woman that Jesus ran into? You know, you, I don't quote title and verse like most people do because you folks understand, you've heard these stories before. When Jesus went to the well and the Samaritan woman was there and she drew him water out of the well and gave him water, he said, if you knew who you're giving this water to, you would be asking me for water. And he said, because I will give you water that will make you never thirst again. For in your heart shall arise a fountain of living life. That was the real message. Abundant life here and now. That and the possibility of opening our minds unto the higher dimensions. This Jesus didn't teach so much in his public message because the teachings for consciousness of the solar dimension while still here in flesh, the techniques for perceiving into the invisible, the techniques for ascension into the kingdom of God, which there are and which there were and which are all there in the books of Yahweh, these were reserved for the disciples. These were reserved for those with greater understanding and who had proven their faith. How is it that they proved their faith? They left behind house, home, wife, kids, mother, father. They left behind everything to follow the living Jesus. Won't you follow as well? You don't need to leave everything behind anymore. All you need to do now is breathe in your next breath of God for us. We are Alpha Omega Free Church. We are here every day bringing you this message and sharing with you the contents of the lost books of Yahweh from the Bible. In my opinion, the most important books of the Bible because these are the ones with all the spiritual practices in them. The opening of the 60 treasuries of light, folks, is just the beginning. This is just the tip of the iceberg with the real substance lying beneath the water. The second book of Yahweh is amazing. It contains the baptism of the waters of life, the baptism of fire, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, followed by the mystery of the forgiveness of sins and the filling in of iniquities, followed by the breaking of the power of the demons over you and culminating in the summit of all summits, the system of rising through the 12 eons directly into the kingdom of light. These are the mysteries, the higher mysteries of Jesus Christ that were reserved at one time for his disciples. They have been returned to us today by a miracle of God and through the science of archaeology, thanks to archaeologists who found the Bruce Codex in Egypt in 1769, these mysteries have not perished on the face of the earth, and they are available to us once again. If you are a Christian, this is your heritage. This is your patrimony. Do not let anyone tell you it is evil, because it is not. Remember, the Pharisees accused Jesus himself of casting out demons by the power of the prince of demons, that he himself must be a devil. And Jesus answered, accusing them of blaspheming against the Spirit. Things haven't changed much, folks. There are religious leaders today who would condemn these mysteries as well. Why? Out of sheer ignorance and lack of understanding. But that doesn't mean anything because you're here, we're here, 
and the mysteries are here available to you. We are putting this out every day the best that we can, and soon we'll be bringing to you also the greater mysteries of the second book of Yahweh. And until then, we we'll welcome you back out here every day as we fill ourselves with abundant life and invite you to do the same. You will find yourself more energetic. You will find yourself more alive. There are many, many things you can do with this energy. And not only that, but suddenly things begin to dawn on you. I have insights every single day. The God force comes wrapped in ideas and energy and insights. And during the course of the day, we unpack them after this ritual. We'll be here with you and for you again tomorrow. We are Alpha Omega Free Church. You can find us on the web at alphaomega.church. We invite you to come and put your prayer on our prayer wall. We bring your petitions to the angels daily. And also while you're there, we invite you to make a donation. You see, we depend completely and utterly on the support of our congregation for the furtherance of this mission and its continuation. The God force is free, but getting this word out and raising the consciousness of mankind to understand that these mysteries are available once again and what they are, that costs real money, folks. And we need your help for that. That's why we thank you so much for the donations that you make at Alpha Omega Church. We will be here with you and for you again tomorrow, and we hope you enjoy this beautiful Sunday morning. And until then, as always, as the living Jesus said, have faith and expect a miracle. And until we have the pleasure of each other's company again, may the God force run strong within you. And as always, may your magics work better than expected. <laughs>